Hey y'all, welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean today. I'm making a call to a young lady named Heather. Well, hey Heather. Hi. This is Paula Dean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm so great. I'm so excited <laughs> to hear from you. Well, thank you so much, Heather. Uh, I understand that you're a beginner cook. I am. I um, grew up with my dad who fast food was how he cooked. Oh so. my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, you're now being married, I have to learn how to cook. Oh my gosh, you sound young. I am. I'm I'm um 27. Oh my gosh, you're so young and you're at the perfect age to be in that kitchen. Oh my goodness. So you don't have children yet, do you? Oh no. Heather? Heather? Oh, I lost the call, so I'm going to have to call you back. So I'm fixing to try. <laughs> Hello? Heather, what happened? I, I think I lost signal. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you someplace I'm, where you get a good signal? Well, yeah, I'm at my, um, I'm at my grandma's house. Oh, <laughs> is your grandma a good cook? She is, she is. Well, listen. However... I've been visiting with her for a few days, and we haven't cooked, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, what have y'all been doing? Well, she lives in Vegas, so we went to we went to the Mob Museum and to the movies. and. Oh, good. So y'all just kind of <laughs> picking up snacks here and there. Yeah, we've been running around. Well, while you're there, you need to, you need to learn everything that your grandmother can teach you. I learned at the side of my grandmother, who was a fabulous cook. She was so good. And I wouldn't trade that for anything in the world. So take advantage now of you being with your grandmother. Oh, we try. We try. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you don't have any children yet, apparently. Not yet. Nope, just two dogs. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, when those babies start coming... You're certainly not going to want to raise them on fast food. So, no, I'm not. Uh-huh. So it's important that you get in there and learn to cook and, and love that kitchen. So your question to me was uh, figuring out what to, bring, what to bring to parties, what kind of potluck dishes and holiday dishes. So before I contacted you, Heather, I was kind of looking through some of my cookbooks, and my newest cookbook, at the Southern Table with Paula Dean, I've got a chapter on just casseroles, uh, which is unusual for me to have in my other books. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just gonna run by a couple of quick things. Uh, Homestyle chicken pot pie, a turkey tetrazzini, which is a great dish for uh, using your leftover turkey at Thanksgiving. The Kentucky Hot Brown, have you ever heard of that? No, I have not. All right, well, this was made popular uh, in Louisville's Brown Hotel in the 20s, and it is a beautiful dish. And uh, it, it actually started out as a sandwich. So, but you make this in a casserole dish uh, if I hold up this book and she watches this podcast, she can see it, right? We can show, we can show the picture. All right, Heather, I'm holding, well, I'm holding I, up the picture of this Kentucky Hot Brown. So when, she, when you see this podcast, you can see what it's supposed to look like. What did you want to say, dear? I have all of your other books. It's just this you new do one that I don't have yet. <laughs> well, you'll have to pick it up uh, because it's just got, a lot of information. Uh, the Country Captain, and let's see, the Chicken Alfredo Pasta Bake, I really like that one. Um, but the Baked Rigatoni and Cheese Stuffed Meatballs, honey. Oh. Delicious. <laughs> yes, it's so good. I mean, you put cheese in the middle of some meat and you know it's good. Uh, yeah, meat and cheese is good, and it fits. It fits with all the diet plans with the new keto diet. Plan. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, maybe I'll have to check that diet out. 
Um, and I've got individual shepherd's pie in here in the casserole section. And that's one of my family's favorite dishes that I make. Uh, and, you know, it's like meat, potatoes, peas. And uh, some people top it with um, a biscuit mix. But I just like mine topped with potatoes. But anyway, that's a great one to bring if you're a meat and potato eater. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. Uh, do you have any other questions? I don't. Uh, I think that you are absolutely amazing. In college, they called me the Paula Dean Extraordinaire. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would just cook for, for everyone just like easy stuff that I would find. So when oh. it came to parties, though, now that I'm out of college, I'm uh -huh. like, well, now I have to travel with my food and I don't uh -huh. know what to do. What to do? <laughs> well, there'll there'll be some good um, suggestions that you'll find in this cookbook, like cooking for a crowd. Uh, I've got a section in here that I got a cozy soup supper. Uh, let's see, and I've got uh, menus. And to me, sometimes the hardest thing to come up with is the menu. You know, just like you were talking about can't figure out what to take for potluck, but yeah. I've got like a hearty weekend breakfast, uh, easy weeknight dinner, backyard cookout, best brown bag lunch, uh, game day get together, a vegetable supper. That is so cool. Yes, yes. So I hope that that's very helpful for everybody. Uh, and that thrills me that they called you the Paula Dean at college because that's the only way I will ever be in college. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty great. My first, my first book report that I had to make in college, I actually did on your autobiography. So no. I'm a, I'm no. a fan through and through. <laughs> oh, Heather, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Um, yeah. You know, I, I had so much fun reading that autobiography, you know, for audio. And uh, you didn't enjoy it, Phil. Phil said he didn't enjoy it. I, I sat there for five days. He sat there for five eight days. days. Eight <laughs> hours a day listening to Paul read. <laughs> you know, I knew how it was going to end, but I still liked reading it. <laughs> I could have I listened to it for, for hours. And I sat and I read the book. I read the book and I stayed up all night long reading. I just thought it no, was so Heather. amazing. Oh my gosh, honey. Well, thank you so much. You sound so sweet and I wish I could meet you. <laughs> well, that's my goal one day is I want to meet you. Wait, what, <laughs> what, what, what state do you live in? Um, I'm in Arizona. Currently. Arizona. Yeah. But we, um, we travel back to Missouri. We travel all over the place these days. Oh, you we do? We travel back to Missouri a whole lot. So. Okay. Well, I, I'm, uh, I have just opened a restaurant in Dallas, Texas. I was, really? Yes. That is so, we are going to Dallas on Friday. No, you are not. <laughs> you are not. Got his, he has a job interview in Dallas. So. No. Well, yeah. I, my restaurant is actually in Fairview. Uh -huh. And it's like 20 minutes, 20 or 25 minutes outside of downtown Dallas uh, in a bedroom yeah. community called yeah. Fairview. 
and it's Paula Dean's Family Kitchen. So make sure you go. Make well, sure you already, go. The, I already know that I have to go. <laughs> the food is delicious. And then in May, uh, we're opening one in San Antonio in the oh, Bass Pro yeah. there. So hopefully, uh, and you can find on my website when I'm going to be there. So if you're close by, maybe you can come. I would absolutely love that. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to get back in touch with you in a little while, and I'm going to send you this cookbook. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. You are so welcome, honey. I've enjoyed talking to you, and uh, I don't want to take up any more time uh, with you and your grandmother. So tell your grandmother I said hello and sent my love to her, and you can look for this cookbook. All right. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. You too, Heather. Bye-bye, right, dear. Oh, good. Bless her heart. <laughs> I'm so happy to be able to do that for her because this is the only book she didn't have. So let's make that happen. I hope y'all had a good time eavesdropping on my telephone calls today. And keep those questions coming because you never know when I say, hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Bye-bye. <laughs> the space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom-made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited-time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300.